Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com. We're going to look at this new product called Decolorant. Absolutely, Decolorant. I'm Nick Coleman and I'm with Candy Corp. And what we have here is we have our new product. It's called Decolorant Plus. We've taken a basic discharge product and we've added pigment to it. So what we're able to do is strip the base color out of a piece of fabric and add another color to it at the same time. What I'm going to demonstrate right now is what happens when we take just the decolorant cream, which is the decolorant with no pigment added to it, and put it on our fiber. Okay? And that'll give you an idea of what our base, our sort of, our, our base, uh, <laughs> lost the word, but that's okay, what, what our base process is. All right, okay? let's see it. So, here we go. I've just got a regular old sponge. And I'm going to grab a uh, stencil over here. Sorry. Okay. I'm just going to grab a stencil. And then, if you don't mind, I'm going to move just real quick over to the hard surface. It's just easier to stamp on or stencil on. And then I'm going to just take this and so it doesn't look like much is happening. It just sort of looks like I'm getting the fabric wet. But what I'm doing is I'm pushing the decolorant into the fibers of the fabric. Then I'll just take my stencil off. Now you can see the dark space where the decolorant has gone in. Okay, it's gone through pretty well to the backside, so that should give us a real good print. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to dry it off with a heat gun. It works best if the product is dried first, okay? So normally I'll just let it sit out in the sun or I'll let it set in my studio um, or I'll hit it with a heat gun if I'm impatient, which I usually am. Can you do this on any fabric? You can do this on any natural fiber fabric and that includes silk and wool. It is not damaging to the fabric as soon as the heat is removed removed, the process stops. You can also use this on natural fiber uh, papers, and it's absolutely wonderful. Okay, so once I get it to a point where it's f fairly dry by feel, okay, what I'll do is I'll just take my iron, I've got it on high heat, and you just use as high heat as the fabric will take, and then I just sort of keep it moving, because I don't want any steam vents Oh my gosh. Here. And what's happened is the magic. So what it's done is this has removed the color from the base fabric. Now, go ahead, take that very same process and add pigment to it. So what I've done is I've added pigment to this process. So when I lay this down, it's going to strip whatever color is underneath and lay down my beautiful bright red or my beautiful purple or persimmon or yellow. So you've got multiple colors in these fabrics here. We've got over here. 60 colors. Over 60 over colors. Over 60 colors available. All right. Thank you so much. That's You're very, very cool. You're very welcome. Thank you thank, so much. Thank you.